In this video, we're going to talk about Guitar Pro 6's interface. All the tools you'll need to create and edit your score are now directly accessible in the work area. These tools are organized into six panels. The Editing panel, the Instrument panel, the Effects panel, the Mastering panel, the Chords panel, and the Lyrics panel. All these tools will have a direct effect on the score you're working with. The editing panel is made of several subcategories. In the first category, we're going to find several tools that are going to have a global effect on your score. This is where we'll be able to select the clef, the key signature, the time signature, the triplet feel, but also structure information such as repeats, directions, and also information as to which octave the player is supposed to play that part. Before we go further with the editing panel, it's important to know how to enter notes in Guitar Pro 6. The easiest way is to place yourself on the string you wish to use, and then with your numeric pad, enter the fret number you wish to hear. The editing panel allows you to change the rhythm value of that note. You can also do that with your keyboard by using the plus and minus keys. We can also group several notes together, we can tie them together, and we can even tie chords together. The editing panel is also going to allow us to alter the notes we entered and change the velocity of these notes. The fourth category includes all the tools related to guitar notation. This is where you're going to be able to enter the bends, vibratos, harmonics, Notice that if you don't remember the exact function of one of the icons, you can just place your cursor right underneath and Guitar Pro will tell you what the icon is for. The fourth category allows you to create a better looking score by entering chords, changing the notes into a slash rhythm value. Basically any tools you'll need to make your score more clear is going to be found in that category. The fifth category includes all the automation tools. That includes tempo automation, volume automation per track and per score, and the pan automation per track and per score. The second panel is for the instrument panel. This is where you can set the track's instrument you're working with. The first thing you can do here is to tune your instrument. You can select from the list of open tunings already available, create your own open tuning, and save it. You can also add capos to your instrument, and even partial capos. Once your guitar is set the way you want, you have two options. The first one is to apply your guitar's tuning to the selected track, and transpose. This will take into consideration the new tuning that you set for your guitar, including the capos, and transpose the new track so that it sounds exactly the way you wanted it to sound when you wrote it. The second option is simply going to apply the new tuning and capos to your track. Notice that the tuning option is only available if you're working with a fretted instrument. The next set of tools available is going to affect the playing style setting. That's where you can set the accentuation, the auto light ring, and the auto brush options. Notice that these options are only available when you're playing in RSE mode. These will not work with the MIDI mode. In the same way, these options will only work when you're dealing with a fretted instrument. A wide variety of sounds are available, and these sounds can be worked on and tweaked in the Effects panel. The Effects panel includes a wide variety of different amps, pedals, and mastering effects for you to work on the sounds that you set in the previous tab. Each track can include up to four different effect variations. We'll spend more time talking about variations in a following video, but just know that you can create up to four variations, which is really useful if you have a track and you want to start in a clean sound and then move on to a distorted sound without having to create a separate track for that sound. The next set of tools we have are found in the mastering panel. This is where we're going to be able to set dynamics, add a reverb, and set the EQ of your song. Keep in mind that anything you do in the mastering panel is going to affect the whole score. 
The chords panel is where you'll be able to create new chords by picking the root, third, fifth, and any additional note you want to create your chords. Last but not least, the lyrics panel allows you to enter lyrics to your score. The words you type in here are going to follow the rhythm value of the notes you previously entered. And that covers the six main panels that you'll have in Guitar Pro 6. We should now talk a little bit about the global view, which is found right underneath your score. It's in the global view that you'll be able to select the track you want to work on. You'll also be able to make some quick changes to every track, such as the volume, the pan, the EQ. The global view also gives you quick access to any measure on any track within your score. You can activate or hide the global view in the view menu.